What's up guys? Sean here from SRKCycles.com. We have a 2014. That is correct. Let me look in there. 2014 Harley Davidson Road King with the big bad. High output 103 motor. This thing has ostrich skin seat. You guys know that was not cheap. But it feels so good. Quick detach. Bull skull. Vantenheim's pipes. Let's take it for a spin. It's one of those paint jobs. Either you love it or you hate it. Uh, it's actually growing on me. It's pretty unique. It's very unique, actually. And this is the 14th. This is the first year of the Rushmore bikes. And the Rushmore bikes have all new all new stuff. And this is new, and this is new, and it looks like the old stuff. And it's pretty cool. Now all the buttons are all at the same spot, but they're just new buttons. Oh yeah. Alright guys. Words of wisdom. Acts 1631. They replied. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved and you and you and your household. Alright. Once again, this this uh, backrest is too far back. What am I supposed to do with a backrest that's that far back? But once again, I love this bike. I love the Rushmore bikes. The 103 is an amazing motor. Harley continues to make better and better and better motors. Although I have not ridden the Milwaukee 8. I've heard nothing but awesome things about it. Very impressed with Harley. But I know you guys are all like, mm, they got push rods. Yeah, you know what else has push rods? The Corvette. The Corvette's got push rods. And it's awesome. When everyone else is like, hey, we stopped making. They're like, hey, we're going to overhead cam. And double overhead cam and all that stuff because we need to make more power. Corvette was like, Chevy's like, no. No, no, there's still more power to be made in the regular conventional push rod motor let's keep on doing it. and Corvette kills it a supercar and it's cheaper it's a supercar for like less than a hundred thousand love Corvette now Harley Harley's not really that's not really what they're going for they're not competing they're not competing with like super bikes and stuff like that in performance but they are always looking to get more and more horsepower out of the engines, and they do, and they do that by, you know, they redo the whole engine, they make it bigger and better and more efficient, and Harley does a great job at that. The old school thought, or the the uh, the thought that, you know, Harley Davidson and all their stuff is old, and they don't want to move or improve, is just not true. They do. They do change. They change all the time. They do awesome stuff. Harley was one of the first companies to do throttle by wire than anyone else. They were one of the first companies to have fuel injection option in any of their bikes. And in 2007, everything they made was fuel injection. You can't say that about the Japanese bikes. Suzuki still make... Some of these companies still make bikes that are carbureted. You know, that's... So at a certain point, you can't be like, oh, Harley's all behind the times. They're not innovative anymore. It's not true, but they still they, they still have to go with, they still have to make the, the classic bike that everyone wants, that everyone likes, that the reason why people buy Harleys. Um, and if you haven't seen the Fat Bob, look at the Fat Bob. Look at the 2018 Fat Bob and tell me Harley's not innovative. They're not trying new things. It looks cool. Enough about those bikes. Let's check out this bike. This bike runs awesome, 22,000 miles, nothing for this thing. Um, the only thing, brakes are tight, the only thing is slight, I feel a slight pulsation when I get on the front brake, let me try to do it again, just a little, it's, just, it's mildly warped, I wonder what they want for that Corvette, there's a slight pulsation on the front brake rotor, I'm not sure if it's one or if it's both, I'm trying to look down at it and I you can't see that stuff. 
Although if I, had, if I had to guess, I think it'd be the right one. But uh, who knows? So uh, we might we might look for brake rotors for it. We might not. Um, just ask us. Ask us if we did it or not. This bike is sweet. Let me show you what the 103 can do. Yeah, yeah, no joke. That's not a joke. That is impressive. That just happened. This thing moves. Yeah, it's not a it's not an R1. It's not an H2. It's not a Hayabusa. But it is a smooth bike. It's a smooth bike and it's comfortable and you can ride it for a long time and you can put 100,000 miles on it and you can put your girl in the back and, and it's a Harley. It looks, looks great. It's a great looking bike. Man, it's a beautiful day. I'm, I'm, you know what? I, I hate the fall, but I'm pretty excited for the fall. Maybe someday I won't hate the fall, but I'm just, I'm just getting a little excited for it. Those nice days where you can put on a jacket and ride and it feels amazing. It's gonna be awesome. Beautiful day that God has made, guys. God is good. Let me get an amen. Amen, brother. All right, guys, this is Sean signing out from SRKCycles.com. We sell motorcycles in L Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. We are currently in Landisville, Pennsylvania. And that is our shop. It's right there. That's it, right there, SRK Cycles. And we'll see you guys later. Remember, it's not what you're riding, but where you're going. See you guys later. Yeah. What's up, guys? Sean here from SRK Cycles. Click here to subscribe. Click here to check out our new Bikes and Beards channel and click down here to see how to win a motorcycle.